is up, YouTube, and what a franchise guy. We are coming at you again with a brand new episode of her MLB The Show 20. Philadelphia Phillies franchise mode, as we have Nate Pearson's Philadelphia Phillies debut came over in a kind of controversial trade between the Blue Jays and the Phillies. His last year in 20 starts went 4 and 10 4 4 2 ERA. Not a great season for Pearson. But Tyon was going to want a lot of money at the end of this year, so Philadelphia cashed in that value with Pearson, giving Toronto a bona fide ace for their rotation, and Philadelphia getting a guy on the low who, whose value just quite isn't there due to his... You know, struggle so far in the major league. But starts off with a strikeout. Dan B. Swanson up now. Also goes down looking. So back to back punch outs for Pearson. As he is getting his Phillies debut start off pretty well. Antonio Sanzella in for Atlanta. And he's 6'1. 246 pounds, 29 years of age. Did not play at all last season. So he is making his season debut for the Atlanta Braves. Now, once the Meadows leading off, it is a 1-1 count. Meadows struggling, batting 167, sends that one to deep right field. That one's high, and that one is gone. That is a lead-off home run here for Philadelphia as Meadows starts this game off on a hot streak right there. Antonio right here, definitely not happy about the start back to the big leagues as a lead-off home run against a division opponent is never how you want to start a ball game off. Also does not keep you in the majors for long either. And it can start more or less a season long cold streak. But the fans here in Philadelphia are loving the Meadows home run. They're, ch they're cheering pretty loud. Got their cheesesteak signs. You know, you got Meadows, Harper, Rio Muto, and Hoskins, that big four that starts off the lineup. JT up now and JT. Perfect, perfect. That low ball right there is a low fast pull, and JT just sends that one. Deep to center field, back to back bombs for Philadelphia, and that's why they bat JT in the four hole, uh, the two hole. You know that two hole right there. You want to put someone who can hit and hit for power. You know, a guy who gets on base a lot, high average, high slugging, speed. JT is your guy, especially to bat him right behind Austin Meadows. Get that lefty righty matchup. It's going to be a real mean start to whatever pitcher has to face those two guys back to back. Just definitely not something you want to do ever. But get that replay. That's a no doubt shot. That's left center field. That's yeah, about six rows back. Now Bryce Harper up batting 344. And Harper takes that middle middle slider. Sends that one to deep center field. And that one is gone back to back. To back home run starts this game off. Second home run on the season for Harper. As Sanzalolo just does not want to stay in this game long it seems like. Three consecutive home runs. Bad pitches so far for the Braves. You know, you gotta think, what is what is this pitcher trying to do? What is he trying to accomplish right now? Yeah, I think that was a middle, middle slider and Bryce Harper just unloaded on that one. You know, timed that one up pretty well, didn't miss it, and just sends that one into the Philadelphia bullpen. You see uh, Serenity Dominguez goes into the wall. Now Reese Hoskins and Hoskins, another middle-middle slider. Antonio, four consecutive home runs allowed. That is 98 power coming right at you right there. Hoskins, fourth home run of the uh, first home run of the season, I'm sorry, fourth home run in a row. Philadelphia is popping right now as the Braves are uh, looking in awe right now. They're turning off the channel if they are in Atlanta. I think no, every Braves fan in the stadium is currently walking out after the start to this game. What what is happening here to Atlanta? Back to back middle of the you know, middle of the plate sliders. Alec Bohm now drawing a walk. Okay. So, four consecutive home runs, then a walk. Gotta love quick pitch or uh, auto, God, what's it called, uh, quick counts, where he's at 13 pitches right now. 14 pitches now, and Adam Hazley demolishes that one. That's gonna be a low fast, when Hazley just golfs that one into right field. 
That's going to be his first of the season. 419 feet to right field. A two-run shot. And it's going to be six runs off of five hits. And Philadelphia has blown the doors off this game before even recording an out. The Infinity ERA is upon us, guys. Yes, the Infinity ERA is upon us right now with Antonio Sanzalella. I'm going to say his name 20 different times because, unfortunately, Antonio does not seem like he is going to get out of this first inning at any moment now. Braves manager. There he is. There's, there's the Braves manager. He's coming out here. He's head down in shame. Some fans are cheering and booing all at the same time. They're loving this guy right here. If we're playing the playoffs, can we only play against this guy? So, Tiki Toussaint coming in now in two games. He's got an 11.57 ERA. He's going to try and eat some innings here for the Braves as Philadelphia. You know, has just absolutely demolished the Braves' chance at winning this game. The starting pitch in this game is gone. Kingery up now. Kingery, first batter Tiki Toussaint sees. Gonna be a base hit? No! They're gonna beat the throw out right there. Yeah, hate that. You hate that, but look at that. Dave Roberts gonna get the chance to uh, challenge that one. Gonna be called. The field is out. Ozzy Abbey's with the dive. Throw from the knees. Where does Freeman get it? Foot on the bag. Freeman doesn't even have the ball yet. You know, call from upstairs is going to be go for the challenge. Roberts with the thumbs up. First base umpire is going to the home plate umpire saying, hey, we're challenging this one, guys. We're going to convene at home plate. Get a replay. Foot on the bag. Ball not even close to being there. First base umpire. How did you get that wrong? Very quickly, though, the umpires convene and call will be overturned. Ruled as safe. So the first batter, Tuki Toussaint, sees gets on first base with an infield single. Braves right here cannot catch a break. Bryson Stott inside right there. That's going to be a double play. No beats it out. So trading places with Scott Kingery. We are just having a great inning. But double play though gets out of the inning as Nate Pearson returns to the mound after a very long first inning. Picking up his third strikeout. Freddie Freeman going to be the fourth victim sat down via the punch out this game. As this game is going to start to roll along pretty quickly. Tiki Toussaint now striking out Austin Meadows. So Meadows uh, not quite a home run like he had last at bat. Now JT up and JT down as well. Back to back punch outs for Toussaint. As he has already quieted the Phillies top three guys. Shea Langlier's up and Langlier's. Sends that one to left center field on that one. Will clear the wall. Sounds about seven to eight rows up. That is a big fly home run for Shea Langliers. I think one of the biggest problems Nate Pearson has in the sim is allowing home runs. So if we can limit home runs, Nate Pearson can have a great season here in Philadelphia. But it all comes down to limiting home runs. Now Austin Riley drawing a walk right there after the home run. So Pearson needs to rebound. And he needs to, you know, center himself, get out of this inning without allowing any more runs. Now maybe another strikeout to Ozzy Albies. There you go, punched out, bottom corner. Definitely got a pitcher's call right there. You'll love to see that if you're the Phillies. Now Dansby Swanson and Swanson. That's going to be ball four, second walk of the end, and that's about the same punt the last at bat was. And but I want to strike that time, but now it's going to be given a ball. Now Ronald Acuna Jr. two two count, and Acuna Jr. swings through that fastball, just powered him, and that's going to be a strikeout. Adam Aisley striked out looking right there on that 78 mile an hour curveball. As Tucson goes 1 2 3. Phillies haven't gotten a hit since the first inning as this game is starting to roll by now. JD Martinez signed a one year deal here in Atlanta. He's going to get a single to center field to lead off the fourth inning. So Pearson now trying to rebound Freddie Freeman. Big punch out right there for Nate Pearson. I think that's going to be his seventh punch out of the game, 3-3 three, three and a third. Marcelo Zuna caught looking 98 mile hour fastball down and away. Eighth punch out of the game. Now Pearson looking for nine, and Langlier's goes down for lucky number nine. 
As after a leadoff single goes one, two, three in order to strike out the side. Scott Kingery up now, and Kingery swinging a miss on that Tuki Toussaint pitch in the dirt. Toussaint dealing so far, he has had 40 pitches. Pearson now taking on Austin Riley, and Riley goes down swinging. Big home swing and a miss right there. 10 punch outs through five innings. Pinch hitter right now. Tuki Toussaint's day is done, so maybe Philip can get yet another hit sometime this game. But Bryce Ball will. Strikeout looking. That's going to be 11 punch outs on the game for Nate Pearson. Luke Jackson coming in to replace Tucson in two games. He's not allowed a hit or a run. It's a strikeout in an inning in the third, so pretty good for Luke Jackson. I'm not going to complain too much about him. Austin Meadows leading off the fifth inning, and Meadows going to collect the first hit of the game for the Phillies since that first inning onslaught. As he's going to get himself a leadoff double right now in the bottom of the fifth inning. JT up now and JT draws walk. So, first walk issued by the Braves since the first inning. As the first turners have got on board, Luke Jackson finds himself in a difficult spot facing Bryce Harper. He's going to get himself a base hit in the gap right there. Meadows going home from second. It's going to be JT going, staying at third, actually. Harper ends up at second. So an RBI double for Harper. As the Phillies extend their lead to six runs right there. Third double on the season. Now Reese Hoskins. Oh, that's a swing and a miss right there on that fastball. Yeah, hate to see that though. Luke Jackson though getting a big out right now. Alec Bone rolling for a walk, loading the bases here in Philadelphia. It's kind of scary right there when you think about bases, juice with Adam Hazy on deck. As long as he doesn't ground out to double play, Philadelphia can capitalize right now. And Hazley sends that one to left field. That one's getting down all the way to the wall right there. I guess they have J.D. Martinez playing left field. Because that was very slow getting over there. That's twice now. I feel like it's got a ball in the left field. It's kind of skewed all the way to the wall. Chris Martin, Atlanta Braves workhorse under 10 games last season. 3-1, 30 holes, 100 innings pitch through a 6 area, 123 whip, 93 punch shots to 30 walks. So... Definitely Atlanta's workhorse last season, getting his season debut in Game 3 of the season, Game 4 of the season, I think, for the Braves. But a sack fly right here. Scott can attempt that least. Boom going home, and Boom will slide in. Langers could not apply the tag in time. So Philadelphia extends their lead to 9 runs here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Marcel in the arms could not get there in time. Chris Martin charged with the unearned run. Now Nate Pearson up, taking on Dansby Swanson. Swanson sends that one to left field. Please go foul. No. No, it did not go foul. That is a home run right there. First of season four, Dansby Swanson. And I said it earlier. The key for Nate Pearson having success in the major league is for him to limit the amount of home runs he gives up. Plain and simple. That is the best way for him to succeed in baseball. Don't let up any home runs. Very simple, I know. But he struggles Swing with it, it looks like. Drive. Now That's Marcel, or not Marcel, is in. Who's up now? I don't know who's up, but they're going to get themselves a double. That's unfortunate. That Ronald Aquino Jr. Ronald Aquino Jr. gets a one, at, uh, no out double after that home run. Now at two outs, Marcelo Zuna up and Ozuna sends that one to center field. Hazley going to play that one. You know, with the backhand, fires the third for some reason, but all right, Bone picks it up, fires the second base. Ozuna's got 50-something speed. He's not advancing. So Braves cut the lead down to seven, and following up with a Langley strikeout right there. Pearson, you know, you know, he comes back after a home run in RBI, but his day's done as Corey Dick Dickerson, Dickinson, Corey Dickerson, okay, pinch hit, sends that one deep to right field. And that's going to be a fly out to Acuna, who scored a run last inning. So a pinch hit with no real success right there for Philadelphia. As now JT's up, and JT sends that one left field. That one's going back, way back, way back, and gone. That's going to be his second home run of the game, advancing Philadelphia's lead. From seven to eight runs now, his second home run of the game, his second of the season. Now, JT, he's old. He's like in the 30s, like 33, 32, right? 34 right now? 33 or 34 right now? So the fact that he's having an all-star caliber season 
at least power-wise, is great. I mean, hopefully he can have an all-star caliber year. And we paid him all that money early on in the franchise to get him to come back here. And he did resign in real life, too. You know what, five years, 150. I'm not really sure what we signed him to, but I think it was around that time, uh, around that price range. Uh, but, it's that Scott Carey. Scott Carey beating out a run right there. Now Reese Hoskins striking out. I'm pretty sure that Bryce Harper actually at Bryce Harper shoot out that infield single. Chris Archer making his season debut for the Phillies, the 6'2, 105 pound, 35 year old. Rocket number 25 coming back to the major league for the first time in a couple of seasons. Now Felfa giving him a shot in a bullpen role right now. As we have a pinch hitter right here, Ben Gamble, former Brewer. Gonna ground that one to Reese Hoskins, and he's gonna step on the bag for the out. I think he's a Brewer, I think he's also a Mariner. And now Ozzy Albies, 2 2 count, and ground ball off of Archer Bone playing it over to first base, not in time. Dave Roberts looks out at his pitcher. JT's out there, take a look at him. Archer, he's he's shaking it off. He's saying he's fine. He's shaking out, you know, that glove arm. And he's waving Assuming off the pitching staff. He's waving off the manager saying, I got this. JT's reassuring him he's got it. But gets out of that inning. Shane Green in now for Atlanta in three games. He's got two innings pitched and 13.5 ERA. Four strikeouts to two walks. Not great. With now in the inning, Adam Hazley golfs that one. If I, if I ever said golf before, I mean he golfed that one. Has an absolute moonshot right there. Philadelphia has hit six home runs this game. Six home runs, definitely. Absolute moonshot right there. Got second home run of the game. Second home run on the season for Adam Hazley. As he is proving himself to be a premier center fielder here in Philadelphia. You love him. The fans love him. Hopefully, real life, they can actually love him too. Because he gets, he just gets looked down upon for whatever reason in real life. They don't actually play him too much. You know, he's a lot better than a lot of the backups they play instead of him. He's better than Jackie Bradley Jr. Who's saying that he's better offensively and defensively than JBJ. And he's a lot cheaper too, just saying. Scott Kingery up now and Kingery. Can answer that one. It's going to be a down and in two seam fastball that Kingery descends to left field. Second home run of the season for the King. As he's going to round third base and head home at seven for his lead yet again by one run. Philadelphia is just absolutely killing it with home runs so far this game at least season wise. Not too sure this game though. Definitely killing it. It's a 13-3 game now in Philadelphia. And if you guys are wondering why this is like a 20 minute episode. This is the only reason why I was going to sit down and record this episode. I voice it over. I'm like why is this episode like 22 minutes long of... Gameplay. This is one. Dylan Floor win now in three games. He's got three and six ERA and two and third innings pitched. One strikeout. Braves batting 250 against the young fella. So, Floro, who I believe spent some time with the Dodgers, has faced the Phillies a few times. Chris Archer batting and Chris Archer doing whatever that was. That was not a great swing, but a strikeout ends the inning here. As now Kyle Doey making his fourth appearance of the season in three games so far. He's 6-1 at the 2A4 ERA. So he's 6 and 13 his pitch. He's 0-0. Oh oh. Got .79 whip, 7 punch outs to a walk. Walk right there. With and out. Doesn't help him out at all. That's going to make him 2 walks, 7 strikeouts. So he gets some strikeouts to balance that out. 2-2 two -two count to Freeman. Freeman. Goes down to 94 mile an hour up and in fastball. So Doey picks up a strikeout and now Marcelo Zuna. That's another walk. Second walk of the inning for Doey. That's his now man scoring position with uh, with two outs. As Langelier sends that one into right center field. Harper can't cut it off. That's going to the wall. Harper gets it. Fires it to the cutoff man. Two runs will score. That's going to be an RBI double right there. Doey gives up two runs to Shea Langlers. Now Bryce Harper, bottom of the eighth inning, two outs. And Harper puts that one on a line. And I'm going to fall in front of Florida Kenny Jr. For a two-out single. 
has Philadelphia. We'll turn the ball to Serenity Dominguez to finish this game out in two games. He's 0-0. Oh no. Three innings pitched, three strikeouts, two walks. Pinch hitter right here for the Braves. That thing, hey, pitching, pitchers on, you know. Take on Nico Goodrum, and Nico goes down swing at the pig punch out for Dominguez. Now Ozzy Albies up, and Ozzy Albies sends that one to right field. And that one will be gone. And it's going to cut the Phillies lead by one run right there. It is a 13-6 ball game now thanks to Ozzy Albies. I'm running his second on the season. Dominguez clearly not happy with himself as he yells into his glove. You really do hate to see that, guys. It's probably one of the worst things you can see. But JT watches him as he crosses the plate. He puts his head down in dishonor. Dis I don't know. He puts his head down. He's upset. But Dominguez follows out with a DNP Swanson strikeout. Second punch out of the game for Dominguez. And now Ron Acuna Jr. up 1 2 count. And Acuna goes down swinging. Dominguez allowed a run on the home run, but so strikes everyone else out. Dave Roberts congratulates his staff right there. Definitely going to talk to that pitching staff about home runs. You know, leaving pitches where they can be driven. So, Philadelphia, though, does come out victorious on this one. 13 to 6. Definitely not a small ball game, as there were multiple home runs hit by both sides, but no more home runs were hit then by the Phillies, who led the game off with four home runs. Four consecutive home runs, a walk, and then a fifth home run, a five home run first inning for Philadelphia. It was only broken up by a walk to Alec Bohm. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, that like button. Comment down below your favorite part of the episode. And text on YouTube, though. Peace out. Rock on. Stay super classy. And guys, guess what? Baseball season is just around the corner. So I hope you guys are excited as I am for baseball and MLB The Show 21, which will be bringing seven days a week when MLB The Show 21 does drop. Just saying that now. Seven days a week of baseball when it, it drops the new baseball game. Yeah. Peace out.